Hi, good morning Diego. My name is Letitia Lewis. I'm your invigilator for the OET speaking session on the 2nd of February 2020. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Well, I'm great. Can you tell me your full name for the record, please? My full name is Diego Samuel. And what is your candidate number, please? My candidate number is 21031103. Thank you. And you are taking this test as a nurse. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Thank you. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. Here it is. The warm-up questions are not assessed and are a chance for us to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. All right. What accomplishment during your career do you believe was the most difficult for you to achieve? At this point in my career, I feel that the most difficult accomplishment for me to achieve was the two back-to-back -back promotions in my current facility. Because promotions are granted based on results and education. I had to put in a lot of overtime hours and hustle to get there. In my current role, I manage a team of 12 advanced practitioners in the clinical setting. In this role, I mentor, coach, and evaluate their performance regularly. How do you handle conflict in the workplace? It is important to identify the persons involved and the root cause of the conflict. Then address it directly with the involved party and discuss the problem as professionally as possible. Any conflict in the workplace can impact the work and delivery of patient care. So it is important to identify it as early as possible and both parties should work on creating a solution. What is the best way to handle a patient who is refusing their medications? I worked with a patient who had just started on an SSRI a couple of days prior and she stated she didn't want to take it because it didn't work. And also, it was making her nauseated. Being said that, I understand it takes at least four weeks for this type of medication to work, and sometimes, the patients experience temporary side effects before the desired effect. I was able to explain that to her, in a way, she could understand, and she was much more willing to comply. What do you feel is your strongest clinical skill, and why? I am capable of performing many clinical skills at this point of time. But I feel most comfortable taking and monitoring my patients' vital signs, such as taking their blood pressure, pulse oximetry, and even assessing their pain levels. At first, it was difficult for me to trust myself in my ability to take vital signs, but through my clinical training, I became much more comfortable with myself. While this is not the most advanced skill I could have the most strength in, I feel that it gives me a good foundation to build upon as I get more experience in nursing. How do you maintain confidentiality in the workplace? To me, protecting the patient's right to privacy is extremely important, and I have a personal practice of checking in with myself to ensure that I have honored that responsibility in practice. I check in with myself a couple of times a shift, especially if I am busy, to ask if I am being mindful and responsible. If I need shift cheat sheets, I am careful not to write patient names on the paper, but maybe their initials. I am mindful of how my voice carries when I am in a patient room. I always make certain that family members in the room are allowed to hear health information before I ask the patient questions. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to role play now. I'll take the part of the patients or perhaps a relative and you'll take your professional role. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No. You have up to three minutes to prepare the role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when three minutes are up. You can ask me if there's anything you are not sure about and you can make notes on the role play card if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you. You can look at the card during the test, but you must return it to me at the end of the test. Please start preparing now. Thank you.
Your preparation time is over. You can now start your roleplay. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Diego Samuel, one of the registered nurses working in the emergency department. How can I help you? Nurse, we were playing football. Suddenly I felt very strange and unwell. All right. Before proceeding further, may I know your full name for the record, please? My name is Letitia Lewis. Okay, Letitia. Could you please explain to me in detail about the conditions out there and the symptoms you came across? Sure, nurse. It was a bright sunny day. And obviously, it was extremely hot today. While playing football on the ground, I started to feel sick and drowsy. With a dizzy feeling, I started to breathe fastly. All right. May I know about your health and medications, please? Well, nurse, I am healthy and I do not have any medical conditions. Also, I am taking vitamin tablets as well. Okay. Thank you for your briefing. And, did you take any precautions while playing in the heat? Actually, I do not, nurse. Letitia, did you manage to take a rest and drink water to stay hydrated in between the game? Unfortunately, I didn't take breaks and drink water in between the game, nurse. And that is my concern about the dizziness. Letitia, based on my assessment, I suspect that it is heat exhaustion. Oh, I see. Can you please brief me on what exactly it is, nurse? Sure, it's my pleasure. Heat exhaustion is one of the three heat-related syndromes. It is a condition whose symptoms may include heavy sweating and a rapid pulse as a result of your body overheating. Okay. The major causes of heat exhaustion include exposure to high temperatures, particularly when combined with high humidity and strenuous physical activity. Oh, I see. Yes, so for now, it is important to stay in the hospital and have a proper evaluation and treatment by the doctor. Also, staying hydrated and cooling your body core temperature are of utmost importance. Nurse, I wish to go home. And I will stay indoors and hydrated. Your thoughts are really considerable, Letitia. Perhaps, it is really necessary for you to stay here in the hospital and take the initial treatment from the doctor. I will explain to you in detail about the importance of staying in the hospital and taking primary treatment. Please pay attention to my words. Sure, nurse. I will listen to you. You may please proceed. Thank you, Letitia. If untreated, heat exhaustion can lead to a heat stroke, a life-threatening condition that occurs when your core body temperature reaches 104 Fahrenheit, or 40 degrees Celsius or higher. Heat stroke requires immediate medical attention to prevent permanent damage to your brain and other vital organs that can even result in life-threatening conditions. Oh, really? Yes, hence I insist you stay here in the hospital and get consulted by the doctor. When the doctor gives you the discharge, you can go home and take a rest. Okay, nurse. I understand the importance of a hospital stay and consulting the doctor. I'll wait for the doctor's diagnosis. Great. Also, in the future, do not forget to take precautions to prevent similar incidents. Sure, nurse. I'll brief you about the steps you have to take. That will be of great help, nurse. You can use sun protection cream. Clothing that suits and protects from the sun's heat. Also, proper rest and regular intervals is appreciated. And most importantly, try to stay hydrated by taking water at regular intervals. Sure, nurse. I will take care of these things. I appreciate your willingness. Is there anything else? I have to clarify you. No, nurse. Stay calm. The doctor will consult you, shortly. Okay, nurse. Thank you for listening to me. I wish you a speedy recovery. Thank you, nurse. That is the end of your OIT speaking roleplay. All the best. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please, like this video and encourage us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.